Hello and welcome to this fifth lesson. Again, this is Isla Sedward at pinag-uusapan pa din natin for last session ang Vim Text Editor. So previously, meron tayong dalawang videos and this is the last part, the three of three of the Vim Basics series. And of course, navigating and heading to specific lines, kind of hard doing it manually and it's kind of tedious. And for this last session, of course, kompletuhin natin ang ating knowledge growth in line with this. But then again, talk is cheap. Let's do this. Let's begin. As stated, we don't have a lot of lines dito sa ating uh, text file. And then we still want to simulate na magpunta sa specific line na gusto nating puntahan. All you have to do is quite quite simple command. Isipin mo lang or tingnan mo lang ano yung line na kailangan mo. Let us say, gusto kong magpunta dun sa third line. Okay? All you have to do is to type in the number and then shift G. Oops, sorry. Hindi ko na pindot. I'm going to delete that. And then, nandun na ako sa third. Okay? So, sabihin natin, teka, ting ulitin natin, gusto ko naman magpunta sa fourth line. And then, all you have to do is to press four, then G. Then, that's it. Go to first line, one, then G. It's quite very, very simple. And uh, right now, nakita na natin kung paano gamitin lahat. We have understand how to use FI, create a file name, press escape para makapag-navigate, uh, gamitin si colon to input a command, gamitin si A para magpunta sa next character at makapag-input ka, gamitin si I para makapag-input ka ng text interactively, pumunta sa, ah uh, sorry, gamitin si O para makita natin that we can input a text below kung nasan yung ating cursor. And same goes kay capital O pero above kung nasan yung ating cursor. If we want to go to the last line of the file, that is capital G. And in the event na gusto naman nating uh, magpunta into a specific line, itype mo lang, make sure na nag-escape ka muna. And then uh, type the number or the number line na gusto mong puntahan followed by capital G. We have tried previously yung quit. Na-try na din natin itong... Uh, ah, sorry, hindi pala natin na-try itong uh, uh, Q with uh, exclamation point. But uh, the only difference right here is very simple. mag -e exit lang niya, hindi niya isa-save yung gawa mo. And then right, na-try natin. That is for uh, saving. Pero hindi ka mag -e exit W kung gusto mong mag-save as. And then uh, WQ para mag-save... Ah, sorry, mag-save at saka quit. With that, I'm going to exit colon, WQ, and then hit enter. That's it for this tutorial.